Debian or Linux Mint. In this video, we are gonna discuss the differences between both systems and what I recommend. Let us start. Let us head first to the installation of the system. The Linux Mint installation is quite handy and easy. You open up linuxmint.com, go to download, take the cinnamon edition, take a server here from which you want to download it, put it on your USB stick, install it, which is quite easy. And after that, we have a finished system, which is ready to go. And you don't have to configure too much to get a beautiful, complete system. This is great. On Debian, this looks different. You go to debian.org, hit the download button, and here you find a net install ISO image. You put it also on your USB stick and install it. This is a bit more challenging, but with my video I published some weeks ago, this is completely doable. But after that, you have to do more steps to get a nice looking system. You have to do more system settings until you get a complete finished system, in this case with the Cinnamon desktop. With the GNOME desktop, you don't have to do many settings, but yeah, GNOME is a desktop which do not have many settings at all. Also, the driver installation is harder on Debian. In the new Debian version, many drivers are coming included into the ISO file, which is great. And you also have now non-free software directly available in Debian. But for example, if you want to install the driver for your NVIDIA graphics card, you come to a wiki page on Debian, which isn't well structured in my eyes. We have something here in the contents, but in my eyes, this isn't well structured at all. But you find a head point for your Debian version, how to install your NVIDIA driver in few steps, which is then quite easy. You have to exactly know where to look and get the best information to install Debian on your current version. On Linux Mint, this is quite easy. You head over to your driver manager into the menu and it automatically looks for drivers which you could need and proposes them if you need some driver, for example, the NVIDIA driver, which is much faster and beginners know exactly what to do because Linux Mint also has a very good welcome screen, for example, here we have it. And into the first steps, you see also the driver manager. So new users will find the driver manager for the Nvidia card and obviously install their driver. I guess many users, especially beginners, don't even know that they could need a additional driver. So this is good here in Linux Mint, you have some guidance to the user, for example, also to the system reports app, which gives you hints and reports about your system, which you can do, for example, to install some language packs to get the system fully working and to get the best user experience. Debian on the other side doesn't have it at all, but you are able to configure your system right from the start, how you want it and how you personally like it as we did in our video for Debian 12, I put you the link into the video description, but you have to do a lot more steps to get to the same point where you are on Linux Mint direct after installation. But that is okay for the most users who know how to deal with it. Also Linux Mint comes with more features which makes the use of Linux much more user friendly. For example, you have a Mint Update Manager or for example, you can look into the menu and right click an app to uninstall it. This is great. On Debian, you don't have this at all. You have to manually update your system, for example, in the terminal or just, for example, in the Linux assistant at the other side, but some software managers support something like updates. For example, if I open up software here on Debian, you also have a graphically option to update your system. But Debian Cinnamon, in this case, doesn't give you any hints that your system could be updated sometime. But this feature is desktop dependent. For example, on your GNOME desktop, I guess you will get notifications to update your system. But on XFCE and other desktops, you won't. You have to deal it on your own. Let us head to the strength of Debian in my eyes. And this is the great software base you have 
and the neutrality of the developers and this is the great and stable software base you have. I don't know any other Linux distribution which is as stable as Debian. But on the other side, you don't have too much updated software. For example, the library office packages will get very old in some time, but other security related software is kept up to date in a short period of time, which makes it very secure and stable which is one of the best arguments why you want to use Debian. On the other hand, Linux Mint also is quite stable and doesn't have too much bugs. You also have the problem of old software, for example, also the LibreOffice software gets very old in a Linux Mint cycle, but which is also okay for most of the users because you don't need the newest feature every time. In my eyes, it's much more important to get a stable, fully functional working system and not to repair your system. And I have to say, Linux Mint and Debian are both doing great in this part. Almost every software is available on Debian and on Linux Mint, which makes me recommending both systems. But for who of you is which system? I would say for especially beginners, Linux Mint is your choice because after installation, you get a fully working system, which has good settings and just works out of the box. But sometimes you may rely on Ubuntu bugs or want to configure your system completely at your own. And this is where Debian comes in. Debian has also a great user base, a great functionality. You have to make more on your own. You have to configure more on your own, but it's in your hands to develop your Linux system you want to use, which makes it really attractive for other Linux users who aren't satisfied with the current Linux Mint version or direction in which it is heading. Also on Debian, you have many more options for desktops. For example, you can use GNOME, KDE, Mate, XFCE, LXQt, Cinnamon and many other desktops. On Linux Mint, you only have three choices, which are Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. So in the end, it completely belongs to you. I personally use both systems. Debian is currently my Linux on my main machine and on my laptop and other machines, I'm using Linux Mint and I like both systems very, very much. What's your opinion about it? I have personally, I have personally the opinion every user gets satisfied with at least one Linux distribution of them Linux Mint for all beginners and users who don't care too much about their system and Debian for these users who want to configure it at their own and want to have more control over it. One last hint, if you think Debian is too old, try Debian testing, which is much more unstable, but has a newer package base, newer drivers, which makes it really attractive also for new systems, for new hardware systems, and that is the point why I changed from Linux Mint to Debian on my main machine because of newer hardware. I installed Debian testing about Christmas and moved from testing to stable with the release of Debian 12 Bookworm and I'm now very happy to use it. This could be the great option for all guys who have newer hardware or want to use newer packages but also want to use Debian. So that was it for me. How is your opinion about that write it me into the comments please leave a like and subscribe to this youtube channel if you found this video helpful and see you next time bye